Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Good morning. I feel like I'm stuck in a cycle. It's like Let's I'm go. It's like a curse. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It's like you know exactly why we are here. It's me, Zeus. It's deja vu when I'm running up these racks. I'm like the Terminator screaming. I'll be back. Let's go. It's deja vu when I'm out here flying first class. It's like every week I gotta take out the trash. I'm on top of my game, head of the class. Yeah. You can tell that I made it. Look at my grass. Cars in the garage, the tanks full of gas. Yeah. I play the game so long, I won't finish last. Sitting in my living room, screaming how we made it. This is how it's supposed to happen when you get your face. The algorithm turned into a maniac. Yeah, yeah. I guess we going viral because my soul is yeah. scary. I got all these numbers on my spreadsheet. When I used to drive a Fiat Now they looking for me like I'm Ray F It's a conspiracy how I keep on getting checks <laughs> Welcome back ladies and gentlemen Alright ladies and gentlemen Let's go ahead and kill the music DJ thank you so much DJ for the amazing music Alright good morning ladies and gentlemen We are back on the main account And I am once again back in the pilot seat Alright welcome <laughs> Let's get this show started, all right? Uh, but before we get this show started, where are my manners? Uh, for those of you who do not know who I am, uh, I go by the name Zeus, or as some like to say, Triple H. And you know exactly why they call me Triple H. The first H stands for honesty, all right? I'm the most honest person on social media. We all know that. The second H stands for humble. Listen, if I get it wrong, I will be the first to apologize, all right? There's nobody more humble than me, all right? And I'm being honest about that, right? Uh, but if I were wrong, I, I really would be the first to apologize. But just because your feelings are hurt, it doesn't mean that I owe you an apology. I'm serious about that, all right? And then the last and the final H, ladies and gentlemen, is because I am and will always remain, you guessed it, the most handsome. <laughs> Now, many of you are very familiar with what we came to do over here on this side of town, on this side of TikTok. Listen, what we do over here is very special. We hold our friends on the right, especially their cult leader, Donald J. Trump, accountable for, for their dirty, disgusting, filthy deeds, as well as their crimes. And believe you me, when it comes to dirty, disgusting, filthy deeds and crimes, thank you, Nene, for the subscription. Welcome back. <laughs> Yes, feel free to subscribe to the kingdom, all right? That's always a good thing. Uh, for those of you, uh, yeah, so like I said, we hold our friends on the right accountable for their dirty, disgusting, filthy deeds. And, and we know that when it comes to things that are going on in this country, especially a lot of the bad stuff that's going on, a lot of it is coming from our friends, our relatives on the right, who are still under they're, they're they're under a strong delusion, the MAGA demon delusion, right? And so what we gotta do is, is make sure Americans all across this country know just how dangerous Donald Trump and the MAGA Republicans are. And that's just what that's what we do. I mean, we talk about a lot of other things, but that's primarily 
uh, the focus here because, you know, this country is going through quite a bit right now. And if you drill down nine times out of ten, actually ten times out of ten, you will be able to tie it to MAGA. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, I'll say this. If you are what we call, my good friend Brother Swervin likes to say, factose intolerant. That means you're allergic to the facts. You might want to leave this live and, and go on about your, your miserable morning, all right? Because it's going to get very, very uncomfortable in here because we're going to be going through a lot of things and bringing a lot of truth and it'll make you, it'll make you uncomfortable. You know, like my good friend Brother Swervin likes to say, you're factose intolerant. That means you're allergic to the facts, right? You know? And so uh, that's my warning to you, MAGA, because after that, you're on your own. But get this. You don't got to take my word for it. Listen to your leader. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., Good morning. if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. That is right. All right. So, ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, yes, you are now here at your own risk. Um, you know, quiet as it is kept, um, you know, this country is going through quite a bit in order. You know, we're in an election and, you know, during the election cycle, you know, we're always kind of, you know, seeing which candidate uh, we should, you know, vote for. And and one thing is crystal clear. One candidate is fighting for their life inside of a courtroom right now. This one, Donald J. Trump. And one candidate is actually, you know, doing the doing the job in terms of helping to make sure the American people uh, have a have an opportunity to achieve the American dream. All right. So uh, before we get this show started, I just want to remind uh, those of you who aren't paying attention. Today is day 10, day 10. All right, day 10, and, uh, and Donald Trump is once again in uh, the New York courtroom that involves the election interference case, all right? Notice I didn't say hush money. This is about election interference, and this is, this is the worst kind of election interference as far as I'm concerned because you remember in 2016, he would chant, lock her up, lock her up, and he was talking about Hillary Clinton, right? You remember all of this, right? And, and, and they were trying to make it look like Hillary Clinton was the worst candidate ever, ever, right? And so what we're at right now in 2024, we're finding out that Donald Trump conspired, you know, conspired, committed a conspiracy. He engaged in a conspiracy to hide negative information about himself, him and the affairs that he was having with these women besides Melania, right? And, and there was a lot of money being paid out, and he suppressed that information from the American people. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the most corrupt Donald Trump is. He is the most corrupt, evil, disgusting, and despicable candidate I have ever read about. I've never heard of a presidential candidate with this much negative stuff going on. I seen a video yesterday. He was giving police officers on their motorcycles he was walking up and he was giving them high fives and you know you see this video and i said how can this be how can someone be out on 88 felony charges and be able to still walk around law enforcement without the fear of being placed under arrest how could this individual violate these gag orders without the fear of being placed under arrest and then sit around here and launch an attack against the United States government with him and his nasty, his nasty soldiers. You know, that's, that's, what, the, that's what the Trump supporters are, right? These nasty soldiers. But this is where we are as a nation. So today, Donald Trump, 10th day, he's in court, all right? And Judge Juan Marchand, many of us are familiar with what he's already done, right? He's already held Donald Trump in contempt of court, all right? After concluding, Trump committed nine, nine violations of the gag order, all right? And today, court starts, and he got to talk to Trump and his team about four more violations of the gag order, all right? 
This guy needs to be stopped immediately. His rhetoric is causing all kinds of chaos and pandemonium in this country, ladies and gentlemen. And it is my hope, and I, and I really do mean this. You know, they're going to be talking about Keith Davidson. This is Stormy Daniels' uh, former former attorney and Karen McDougal's former attorney. So they're the ones that actually know what the money was being used for, right? That's going to be what happens today in court. But there's also this hearing about these four more violations that this criminal, that this seditionist, treasonous traitor Donald Trump has been a part of. I really do hope that before this trial ends, that they end up putting Donald Trump in prison where he belongs. He really is the most dangerous threat to this, to this country, right? And so on that note, ladies and gentlemen, as we kick off today's show, we know that Donald Trump is right where he belongs inside of a courtroom. And then after that, he should be going straight to a jail cell. Join me in giving Donald Trump and his supporters what they deserve. Our first honorable round of, you guessed it, booze and shame. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Let's give them some booze and shame. Silence. You never be in You know, um... You know, Donald Trump and his supporters today are, they're very, very terrified in case you haven't been following the news. I mean, make no mistake, uh, they're going to try to throw you off by bringing up all of these, you know what I call them, off the focus issues that are going on in the country. Go ahead and hit the, you know, go ahead and put on the greatest hits. You know, they play these greatest hits. What are the greatest hits that the MAGA likes to bring up to try to justify uh, why Donald Trump should be reelected? Re we definitely know it involves the border, right? They can't. Oh, let's just start talking about the border. What's the next greatest hit? Let's talk about crime in the Democrat cities, right? These are the Mac. These are the MAGA greatest hits. Let's talk about crime in Democrat cities. You don't care about crime, MAGA. You lost all credibility, just like Trump's lawyer did in this trial to talk about crime when you openly promote a criminal. Will you vote for Donald Trump, MAGA? Let me ask you Trump supporters. Are there any Trump supporters out there this morning? And this is the question that really grinds my gears. Are there any Trump supporters out there this morning? By a show of hands, where are you seditionist, treasonous traitors at? Any Trump supporters out there this morning? You see this? Look at that J-Man. Let me ask you a question, J-Man. Do you believe that crime in Democrat cities are a problem, J-Man? J-Man, I got to ask you a question. Do you believe... Do you believe that crime in these Democrat cities are a problem? Oh, look at that. Look at that. And this is and, and this is where we go. So so you you think that they should do something about this crime, right, J Man? And when we talk about crime, what are we talking about? What you know, some some stealing, some stealing perhaps, J Man? You call that crime? Now, J Man, are you still there? Okay, because J Man. Do you think that they should arrest these people, J-Man? I mean, I'm, I'm asking you, J-Man. Would you, do you think they should arrest these people that you're saying are criminals? Because the next thing I'm going to ask you, J-Man, is, well, what do you think you, J-Man, look like <laughs> openly endorsing a criminal, J-Man? <laughs> yeah, you're right. He just got finished. You see, J-Man... You, by endorsing Donald Trump, give everybody that's breaking the law a pass. You don't understand that's how this works. You see all these protests going on, J-Man, and you know what you're doing? You're sitting at home and you're going, they need to do something. You know, they need to do something about these protests. And you know what I think to myself when I see these protests? I'll be honest with you, because sometimes it goes a little too far, J-Man. Sometimes it does go a little too far. I said, this never, this never would have happened. Had Donald Trump and his Confederate soldiers not attacked the United States Capitol on January 6th. What you Trump supporters did on January 6th, it is the biggest and the worst unforgivable act ever in American history. Go read American history, J-Man. The president 
of this country who was to, who took an oath to protect and defend this country launched an attack against this country while president of the United States. I don't want to hear a single word about crime in the Democrat cities, J-Man, until you and your Confederate soldiers start holding Donald Trump accountable for these acts. And I do mean that. All right. And so since you won't do it, we will continue to do it. I see there's some dissension out there in my comment section. Maybe you didn't hear my message at the top of the show. If you're not happy here, then you can leave. As far as I'm concerned, if you hate our country, if you're not happy here, you can leave. If you're not happy in the U.S., if you're complaining all the time, very simply, you can leave. You can leave right now. Come back if you want. Don't come back. It's okay, too. But if you're not happy, you can leave. Exactly. If you're not happy with the way our justice system works, leave. Donald Trump right now is by far the worst of the worst. I've never seen anyone be able to do what this man is doing with 88 felony charges. It really it really grinds my gears. You know, I try not to, you know, get too worked up on a month on a, in the morning. I try not to. I try to maintain, you know, a really nice personable kind of approach. But but when I see this guy flying around the country with 88 felony charges, I just can't. Absolutely not. Nope. There's nothing more dangerous right now in this country than this guy. I promise you. Speaking of danger, Donald Trump rages at uh, Judge Juan Marchand, who threatened jail over gag order hours before the hush money trial resumes. Yes, ladies and gentlemen. Like I said earlier, Donald Trump was found in contempt of court. On Tuesday, for repeatedly violating Judge Mershon's gag orders in the nasty case, you know, we're going to call it the election interference case, that's being prosecuted by Manhattan District Attorney Alvin Bragg. Contrary to the claims, the gag order is narrowly tailored and does not prevent him from speaking about the case or even from attacking the judge. I wish they, they should have said he can't attack the judge. In fact... On Thursday morning, Trump's first today, Trump's first truth social post of the day was a rant directed at Mershon, the gag order and the trial itself. You all saw him on truth social. Look at this nonsense. We cannot let this radical left, corrupt and highly conflicted New York Democrat judge interfere with the presidential election of 2024, the most important election in the history of our country. The USA is truly a nation in decline. Remove the unconstitutional gag order. See, when Donald Trump starts saying stuff like this MAGA, I don't feel sorry for him. And you shouldn't either, because according to him, this kind of stuff helps his poll numbers go up, right? Remember, this is helping him look good in the polls, MAGA. Or what about this? What about this? Every time the radical left Democrats, Marxists, communists, and fascists indict me, I consider it a great badge of courage. And and just like a bunch of, I don't even know what to call you all that are in his circus. What are these 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 crazy lunatics that are in his circus? Everything he says, you all cheer him on. You cheer him on. So so why is he crying about the gag order? Why is he crying about the judge? I've never seen anybody get away with as much as this guy is getting away with. How dare you attack the judge? And then turn around and attack the rest of the American people. Ladies and gentlemen, this man, Donald Trump, is not fit to be president of the United States. He's only fit, as far as I'm concerned, to be prosecuted and placed in Rikers Island, right? That's the first place we need him, all right? And then they can do whatever they want with him. But he needs to spend the rest of his entire natural life somewhere in prison. And on that note, ladies and gentlemen, you know what we got to do. Join me in giving Donald Trump what he deserves once again. Another round of, you guessed it, booze and shame. Let's give it to him, ladies and gentlemen. I don't care. Silence. You, you, 
silence you you mega demons. All right, you know I don't allow Trump supporters to, to be victims around me. Uh, and actually, I'll go one step further. I, I I don't allow people in general. Honestly, if, if if you don't know what you're talking about, then you can't come around Zeus and try to portray yourself as a victim. You got to understand what you're talking about before you come and talk to Big Zeus. All right, MAGA, and I'm being honest with you. I've never met a Trump supporter that has been able to produce a shred of evidence to support any of their claims. Claims like that. Claims like Joe Biden. They say this. Joe Biden is a criminal. Does is there anyone out there that still believes Joe Biden is a criminal? I'm just asking. Is there is there anybody out there that believes Joe Biden is a criminal still? I mean, we're we're all adults, right? I'm I would imagine we're all adults and we all know how to go look up uh, the information. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Wait a second. Wait a second. Oh. Oh, wait a second. We had somebody out. Oh, Elena? Elena? Uh, Elena? Okay, Elena, who else believes Joe Biden is a criminal? Oh, because, I mean, I, I've been, Elena, I'm trying to have a heart-to-heart -heart with you. Oh, GW, you too, you too, GW. Oh, okay, listen, uh, GW and uh, Elena, is it possible? All right, and I'm trying to be real cordial about this. Uh, Curly, you too. Is it possible uh, oh, Carlene, you too. Okay, okay, listen. Can one of you do us all a favor? All right, and, and listen, I'm not being angry about this one. Oh, Eddie, you too? Oh, oh, look at all these pure blood patriots. Oh, all of you believe Joe Biden is... How about this? Uh, could you do us all a huge favor and go get us a, the evidence of whatever it is that you believe he's guilty of and, and and I'll bring you up in the box all right and I'll 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 mute my mic and I'll let you explain to all of us why he's a criminal can can one of y'all do that please please raise your hand any of you can any of you do that for Zeus I would love, pure blood patriot swerve swerve there's someone in here named pure blood patriot what do we have? you know what you said about well, never mind I'm going to leave that alone swerve I'm going to let you handle that uh so, uh, 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 any of you Trump supporters, would you be willing to honestly bring that evidence uh, up And once I open up the boxes? You, you will? Okay, all right. Ladies and gentlemen, it looks like we have some evidence, and I think the evidence is going to come from Pure Blood Patriot. They have evidence that Joe Biden is a criminal, and they will be bringing it up once I end my monologue. So this is quite the show, okay? All right, all right, Pure Blood. All right, I am so thrilled, because I will stop this platform right here. I'll put it in reverse, and we will focus on getting Joe Biden out of the office the moment you bring that evidence up to this box. Oh, I'm so thrilled. All right, but... In the meantime, please continue to listen on, listen up to what's going on, all right, in terms of the Republican Party. Steve Bannon appearing before Judge Juan Machan ahead of trial for allegedly, get this, defrauding Trump voters. So this is the same judge that's trying Donald Trump, now dealing with Steve Bannon. What about the two-tier justice system? MAGA, tell me how this plays into the two-tier justice system. Steve Bannon, the right-wing commentator who worked on Donald Trump's 2016 presidential campaign and served in his White House, appeared before Judge Juan Marchand, who's also seeing, who's also overseeing Trump's hush money trial in New York. Steve Bannon was there yesterday, all right? While Bannon continues to profit off of Donald Trump's supporters, wow. <laughs> You know, that's funny that Steve Bannon is making money off of you traders. It's so funny to me. Um, and present himself as their hero. He stands accused of defrauding them. He has been charged with committing two counts of money laundering in the second degree, two counts of conspiracy in the fourth degree, and one count of scheme. Can you say scheme, MAGA? A scheme to defraud in the first degree and one count of conspiracy in the fifth degree for raising money to build a wall at the southern border in 2019. But then, get this, using the funds 
to enrich himself and others involved in the scheme. And get this MAGA, get this MAGA. This is what makes this story even more incredible. So after Steve Bannon milked all of you, he milked all of you. How did he do it? Well, I'll tell you how. And I could do this to you, Trump supporters. I could do it. But I actually, I'm not that kind of person. We get it. You're racist. We get it. You're bigots, right? All right. You're misogynists. You're a bunch of incels. We get this about you. You have nothing going for you. For you. You're the loners out there. All we have to do is start to say stuff that we know resonates very well with you. And then we go ahead, ask you to donate to it. All right. And we'll help you out. You want to get married? Send Zeus some money, MAGA. You want a girlfriend? <laughs> Send Zeus some money. I'll help you out. <laughs> you don't like black people? Send Zeus some money, MAGA. We'll help you out. You don't like the, the Latins? Send Zeus some money, MAGA, and we'll build a wall for you. And then you send us all this money. We go to the back room and we look at all the, oh my God, these fools, these people are such suckers. They sent millions of dollars. Some of you even sent your rent money. Some of you even sent the money you're supposed to give your kids to us. And we're looking at it and we're going, this is the easiest lick we've ever had to pull. So now we got all these millions of dollars, right? I go to Donald Trump. Listen, Trump, look at all this money. You don't even got to build the wall. You just got to say it and they send the money. Well, it turns out Steve Bannon has been caught taking advantage of you. It was easy to do. And then get this. Donald Trump pardoned Bannon. <laughs> Donald Trump pardoned a guy that was taking advantage of you, MAGA. Do you understand why we do what we do every single day? Bannon, who was indicted on federal charges over the matter in August of 2020, on his last day in office, the pardon did not apply to the state charges all right the pre-trial hearing was expected to include a motion from bannon's defense team asking that the case be dismissed quote it is a crime to turn a profit by lying to donors and in new york you will be held accountable said manhattan district attorney alvin bragg you ought to be grateful alvin bragg is looking out for you maga because if it was up to me i would have said you know what <laughs> let them do what they do to the foolish MAGA, all right, because they seem to not get it, and they don't care about that so-called money that they were crying about for those eggs. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving Steve Bannon, all right? Well, I'm going to give Steve Bannon a round of applause for taking advantage of MAGA, right? I'm going to do that. But I'm also going to give Steve Bannon and MAGA a round of booze in shame. Booze in shame because once again, you're proving that the real corruption, the real election interference isn't from the Democrats. It's from you. <laughs> Get him out of here. Yeah, uh, okay, and, and, and Patriot Pure Blood, don't leave, all right? I really do want that evidence that, uh, I do want that evidence that Joe Biden is a criminal, all right? Don't try to escape today, all right? Now, let's move it along, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, how many of you are familiar with uh, Byron Donalds, Donaldson? Uh, you, you all know who Byron Donalds is, right? All right, well, you know, uh, something interesting happened with uh, Byron Uh that I said, you know what? We need to we need to go ahead and address this, okay? <laughs> Uncle Tom video shows uh, Representative Byron Donalds gets called a race traitor during DC campus protests. All right, do you want? I mean, this this is this is really this is really what's going on in this country, ladies and gentlemen. All right, so let's move into this. Uh, Representative Byron Donalds was greeted in part with accusations of betraying the black race when the MAGA congressman from Florida visited a pro-Palestinian protest encampment at George Washington University uh, yesterday. 
And, and, and let's listen to this exchange, if you don't mind. Should we listen to this, ladies and gentlemen? All right, let's go. How much is Impact paying you, you bastard? How much is Impact paying you, you race traitor? Race traitor? Yeah. 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 I'm the cop. Hey, hey. The United States is supporting a Jewish supremacist country. Outside educators aren't allowed. You're working for a foreign entity, you bastard. Get him out. Get him out. That guy's really old to be in college. So, anyway. you know, why do they so while I don't condone such rhetoric, um, I felt, you know what, because we're at this impasse right now as a nation, it's very important that we address this. To all of you blacks for Donald Trump, are, you, are there any blacks for Donald Trump out there? I saw some of them yesterday at the rally that Trump had. Uh, yesterday they got on stage you know those two ladies that got on stage and said they love Donald Trump these these are two sisters and, and then Trump and Trump gave them that little distant hug like I I'm just doing this to get the money I'm just doing this to get the votes now you go back to wherever you came from wherever all right to the to the Byron Donalds out there and to all of you black so-called voters that are embracing Donald Trump I want you to understand what you're doing you're making yourselves look like fools. Donald Trump doesn't care about you. He never has. He never will. And when the world, and I, and I do mean this, when the rest of the world sees you following and chasing Donald Trump around, sniffing his dirty diaper, you end up in spaces like this guy did, Byron Donalds did, where someone outside of the race is calling you a race traitor and you know what byron did when that was said i'll tell you what he did when it was said you know what byron had to do he had to zip it up he can back against the wall because byron what can you say at the end of the day to say that you're not you see how you played yourself too and i say this to the blacks and the latins for trump and actually i'll say this to the women for trump you see how you play yourself with donald trump he puts you in positions where you can't even defend yourself. Look at Ted Cruz. What can Ted Cruz say to Donald Trump? Nothing. A man that attacked and insulted his wife. You turn around and you, who? let me go ahead and carry your water for you. This is why we have no respect for a lot of you folks out there because you don't even know your history. You don't know your ancestors fought and bled and died to, pre to prevent you from having to do that. All right. And then if your ancestors, if your ancestors could come back and I'm saying this to you, Byron, if our ancestors could come back and see that, thank you, Rick. And just, and they could come back and see that all that fighting, all that suffering, you know that movie Amistad, you know, you saw, you know, the slave ships that came over and blacks were on the, on the slave ships all that suffering that went on to help this country get to where we're at and the things we had to fight for, lost our lives for. Then we turn on the TV, we go on the social media, and we see Byron Donalds sympathizing with the biggest racist in the country, Donald Trump. It's the most disgusting thing I've ever seen in my life. It tells me we have a giant problem in this country. All right. We have a huge problem in this country. A lot of people don't understand where they came from. They don't understand how they got to where they're at. And they are worshiping a racist. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving, giving Byron deranged Donalds what he deserves. A round of, you guessed it, booze and shame. Oh! Sad situation, Byron. You ever seen that movie? Byron? Byron, you ever seen that movie? Uh, 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 Trump's not going to win. No, no, no. Uh, maybe you're in the wrong live. Donald Trump isn't going to win. That's not what we're talking over here. So you keep that nonsense to yourself. Hey, Byron, you seen that movie Get Out? If you haven't seen that movie Get Out, Byron, I would encourage you to go watch it. All right. It's not a comedy. It's a scary movie. And it's happening to you. You should go watch it. All right, Brian, Byron, you're not that intelligent. All right. 
Seriously. All right, let's move it along, ladies and gentlemen. We got a couple of more topics, and then we're going to open up those boxes. Oh, you know what? Uh, this is interesting. Uh, this came out, you know, you know how Donald Trump talks about law and order and being tough on crime and, you know, the rule of law. Well, we have a potential juror who was supposed to be on the juror in the hush money trial or the election interference trial. They have stepped forward and they have made it clear that once again, <clears throat> Donald Trump and his supporters are intimidating regular Americans. Listen to this, ladies and gentlemen. All right. A potential juror who was excused from Donald Trump's criminal trial has revealed that he has been receiving unaliving threats, despite the fact that he's not even involved in the case. All right. Um, listen to what he says, ladies and gentlemen. You can't make this stuff up. You cannot make this stuff up. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh oh, uh oh, hold on. We got to pay the bills. We got to pay the bill. Let's go, let's go. Okay, okay, hold on. Um, and while that's loading, I'll just say this is Mark DeMuro, all right? And he told the, the interviewer how Trump supporters have contacted him saying they were going to, quote, teach him a lesson, all right? And, and so... Uh, we know who you are. We know where you are. We're going to come teach you a lesson. We know who you are. We know where you are. We're going to come teach you a lesson. I did get another one yesterday that said, if Trump doesn't get a fair trial, your life's going to be ruined forever. But despite being excused from serving on the case two weeks ago, he is speaking out exclusively after the former president was fined and held in contempt of court for repeatedly attacking the judge, witnesses and would-be jurors. What was going through your mind when you saw the former president sat inside that courtroom? Boy, this is inconsequential. And, um, and then I immediately thought, there's no way I can serve on this jury. You see this, ladies and gentlemen? Once again... Donald Trump's supporters are threatening everyday Americans. Why are you threatening everyday Americans? Oh, because we don't like how you're treating Donald Trump. You mean the one that's out on out on bail with 88 felony charges because he actually is a criminal? Yes, we don't like how you're treating him. So we're going to take the law to our own hands and we're going to start trying to intimidate the jurors, ladies and gentlemen, this is why I continue to say whether he is in the White House or whether he's at Mar-a-Lago, whether he's in a courtroom, Donald Trump continues to show every day that he has no regards for the rule of law. He has no regards for your life, my life, anyone's life other than his. He is definitely the most dangerous person in this country at this moment right now. So guess what we're going to do, ladies and gentlemen? Oh, he deserves a gag order, but at this point, since he's violated it, right, he definitely deserves to be placed in prison, all right? And I would say keep him there until this thing all gets worked out. He doesn't deserve to fly around on his private jet. He doesn't deserve to golf anymore. No, lock his special behind up. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving Donald Trump once again another round of booze and shame. Oh! Silence! You never demon! Uh, Luke, Luke, I saw that you wrote Witch Hunt. <sighs> Luke, why is this a witch hunt, in your opinion, Luke? Right, Luke? Do you understand that you're saying Donald Trump is a witch? You all believe Donald Trump is a witch? MAGA, is that what you're trying to convince me today, that Donald Trump is a witch? I got to use, I don't want to use the B word, but I, I, I would use that one. You'd be better off saying that, all right, but a witch? Which one is it, MAGA? Is he the B or the W? Which one is it, MAGA? Because the moment you say it's a witch hunt, I'm going to start looking for some witches. All right? Now, 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 are there any witches out there, MAGA? So you're following a witch. <laughs> I can't. I tell you, yes. Oh, my God. Listen, the MAGA, MAGA logic always breaks down. 
It always breaks down because no matter what they say, you can always pick it apart, pick it apart and prove that it's complete BS. And I don't even like to use that kind of language on the Internet. It's BS. I'll give you another example of MAGA logic. All right. Here's another example. Uh, the people, the people that attacked the Capitol on January 6th. They were hostages. All right, let's go with that. So why is Donald Trump, <laughs> why did Donald Trump say, take me there then? If these people are hostages, why did he say, take me to go be with them? Right? It doesn't make any sense. Right? I mean, MAGA logic always breaks down. Always, you know, you don't even got to do anything, calc you know, complicated to get them to actually understand uh, that it's breaking down. You just got to go to the next level with them. Okay, they're hostages. All right. Well, why why are they in prison right now? <laughs> all right. Let's move it along. Speaking of January six. All right. We got to open up these boxes. All right. And you know exactly what that means. It's time to revisit January six. All right. Again. Uh. Uh. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. You said January six was a joke. Are you saying that in support of Donald Trump? I don't know if I read that correctly. I don't know. I don't know if I read that correctly because, see, that's not what I want to hear. Luke, Democrats are corrupt. <sighs> OK, Luke, Luke, do you have the evidence that Joe Biden is a criminal? Oh, Los Cowboy. You got, do, does anyone out there got the evidence that Joe Biden is a criminal? Does anyone out there got the evidence that Joe Biden is a criminal? Please raise your hand. Oh, 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 oh. oh. Oh, Leah. Okay, Leah Treadway. You said it was planned. And see, this is that MAGA logic. You see this, Leah, you said it was planned, right, Leah? Leah. Okay, Leah. Who planned it, Leah? See, see, see? And Leah, I want you to know you just fell into my trap, Leah. You just fell into it. Oh, <laughs> you must have knew where I was going next, Leah. Who planned January 6th, Leah? I, I, I'm being serious, Leah. Who planned it? Who, who, Leah? It, it shouldn't take you this long, Leah. You were typing so fast. Now all of a sudden, you, you, that logic just starts to kind of get. You can't say it, huh, Leah? Don't say it. Don't say it, Leah. Leah, Leah, Earth to Leah. Where did you go? <laughs> Thank you, Jeff. <laughs> Okay, 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 Leah. Okay, wait, wait. It was a protest that was initially planned by Trump supporters. Oh, wow, Leah. <laughs> I love it. I love it, Leah. Was it planned by Donald Trump too, Leah? Because you can go that far if you want to, Leah, because that's where we're heading with this. Ladies and gentlemen, let me help Leah get this story out. Thank you, Kenneth Jones, for the subscription, all right? <laughs> I'm going to help Leah. I'm going to help Leah understand who planned January 6th. All right. Oh, it, it was capitalized by, on by crazy Liz. <laughs> All right, Leah, let's get started. All right, Leah, I'm going to help you understand what happened on January 6th. All right. And this is based off of 100 percent pure research. Everything that I say, you can go look it up and verify. Um, here's the thing, Leah. Donald Trump knew that he was going to lose the 2016, the 2020 election to Joe Biden, because if you go back four years ago, Leah, you remember how this country was, how this country was, right? Yeah, gas was cheaper. That's because nobody was going anywhere, right? You remember all this stuff that was going on? The economy was tanking. The stock market was doing a deep dive. No, Leah. And Donald Trump knew, Leah, this was for you, Leah. Donald Trump knew there's just no way he could win unless he cheated. And so he came up with this plan, Leah. You said it was planned. I 100% agree with you, Leah. Listen to how Donald Trump planned it. He started off with this big lie. You ever heard of this, Leah? It's a rigged election. It's the only way we're going to lose. You heard that line before, Leah? He's saying it right now, by the way. He's doing the same thing right now, Leah. It's a rigged election. That's the only way. No, Leah, listen. listen. It's a rigged election. It's the only way we're going to lose. Remember that? And so after that, Leah, remember what happened? The election went through its whole cycle, right? We all saw it. And election night came, Leah. And guess who won? Joe Biden. Remember, Leah, I know this is tough. 
Joe Biden won. And so Donald Trump was supposed to come out that night and concede, congratulations, Joe Biden. While I really don't like to do it, you won. Great job. My administration will help your administration transition. But did Donald Trump do that, Leah? No, he did not, Leah. You remember what Donald Trump did? That seed of doubt, you know, about the election being rigged? He put water on it, Leah. All right, remember this? It's such a big night. You just take a look at all of these states that we've won tonight, and then you take a look at the kind of margins that we've won by, and, and all of a sudden, it's not like we're up 12 votes and we have 60% left. We won states, and all of a sudden, I said, what happened to the election? It's off. And we have all these announcers saying, what happened? And then they said, oh, because you know what happened? They knew they couldn't win. So they said, let's go to court. And did I predict this, Newt? Did I say this? I've been saying this from the day I heard they were going to send out tens of millions of ballots. I said exactly because either they were going to win or if they didn't win, they'll take us to court. So Florida was a tremendous victory. Mm. You hear that, Leah? He didn't concede. He didn't concede, did he, Leah? And then he went one step further that night, Leah. He did a little trick, Leah. Listen to this trick he played on you. 76,000 votes with almost nothing left. And all of a sudden, everything just stopped. This is a fraud on the American public. This is an embarrassment to our country. We were getting ready to win this election. Frankly, we did win this election. Did you hear that, Leah? Just like that. He tricked you into believing he won when he didn't. No other place on the planet. Think about sports, Leah. Can any team just at the end of the game say, you know what? We were getting ready to win. Frankly, we won. Have you ever seen that work anywhere else in your lifetime, Leah? I'm being honest. The answer is no. Donald Trump tricked you into believing the election was stolen. He radicalized you, Leah, to get you to think that you had to fight for him. So now that Leah is one of Donald Trump's soldiers, you know what we call you, Leah? You're one of his Confederate soldiers. You know how you love to talk about that civil war that's a brewing, that storm that's a coming. He decides, you know what? Why not partic Why not put another plan into motion? Because you, you said the word plan, Leah, and I think that's a good word. Remember this, Leah? Remember this? Hold on. I just want to find uh, 11,780 votes, which is one more than we have. No, 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 no. I'm not checking out the walkaway movement, Leah. We're talking about the fake electors scheme. Leah, can you say scheme? <laughs> so this is where Donald Trump has you supporters, right where he wants you, right? You're, radi you're radicalized. Now you're Confederate soldiers of his. He's the modern day Jefferson Davis, all right? And he got this fake elector scheme going into motion. Leah, you remember this, Leah? I hate to do this to you, Leah, but you know what? We're going to go ahead and do it, all right? You also remember, uh, who is this? Uh, Rudy Giuliani. He was a part of this conspiracy, right? Remember what Rudy was saying to you? The only time you can ever find out if it's a fraudulent ballot is when it is looked at. The minute you approve this, it's thrown away, gone for eternity. The only thing left is the vote. That could have been Mickey Mouse. <laughs> How can you take Rudy Giuliani seriously, Leah, when he's bringing Mickey Mouse up? I mean, this is Rudy Giuliani at his finest. Thank you, Lisa. Almost every civilized country, even Tanzania and places you wouldn't think of, have uh, rules about inspectors, particularly for mail-in ballots. And why particularly for mail-in ballots? Because they can more easily be defrauded, and you can't check on it. You see this, Leah? These are all people in Donald Trump's orbit, including Donald Trump, that are planning this. 
And so what happens next, Leah, now that he has all of you so emotionally worked up? Luke, Luke, this is for you too, Luke. Luke and Leah, all right, double L. We'll call you double L this morning. Double L, what does he do now that he has you all worked up and ready to go? You know it. You guessed it. He decides to encourage you all to meet him in Washington, D.C., and you know exactly how he did it. Attention! All Trump supporters, especially you, Craig, Luke, and Leah. I lost to Joe Biden, and I'm very angry. Send me all the money you have. That would make me feel a little bit better. But I'm going to need you all to meet me in Washington, D.C. Be there will be wild. Leah, Earth to Leah, are you still here? I'm not watching none of your little right-wing conspiracy videos on YouTube or TikTok. I'm telling you the truth, all right? So, Leah, Donald Trump invited you and Luke and Craig and all of you. Where's, where's a pure blood patriot? He, he was there, too. He invited you all to Washington, D.C., all right? And so what did you all do after you got this invitation? I'll tell you, all right? And like I said, this story is based, this, this information that I'm sharing with you, this is all factually accurate. You can go verify it and look it up. So what did you all do after Donald Trump gave you that invitation? I'll tell you. <clears throat> You all jumped in the back of those U-Hauls. You remember those U-Hauls, Leah? I know this, this this story right now, I'm pretty sure if you go check on Leah right now, she is she's going through convulsions right now. She's having convulsions right now because she's going, oh my gosh, I can't believe Zeus. Exactly, Leah. I have no reason to lie to you. So you all got into the back of those U-Hauls. You remember it? You know who was in those U-Hauls, Leah? It wasn't the FBI. It wasn't BLM. It wasn't Antifa. It wasn't no radical left. It was, you guessed it, the Patriot Front, the Boogaloo Boys, the Proud Boys. They put on those khaki pants. And as you can see, they put on those masks. <laughs> you know what, Leah? And I got a real serious question for you and Pure Blood Patriot and... <laughs> Whoever it is, conservative D, Luke, Craig, I got a question. Weren't you all the same knuckle draggers that when we used to go to the grocery store during the pandemic, you ever went to the store, ladies and gentlemen, the store says mask required. And then you go over there, you, you know, you go to look at the fruits and vegetables area, right? And you go there, the mask was supposed to be like this. It was supposed to cover your nose. What were these MAGA demons doing? They wear their mask like this, you know, and you can see the you can see the little nasty snot coming out of their nose. Right. Hey, excuse me, sir. Could you put your mask on? That's what the people that worked at these stores would say. Oh, don't you dare tell me to wear a mask. I can't breathe when I put on that mask. You need to be you need to see my germs and I should be able to freely spread them around this fruit and vegetables. All right, we're not getting into a fight, all right? Leave this crazy individual. So you can't breathe with the mask. No! But it's so funny to me, MAGA, that you had no problem getting in the back of those U-Hauls and putting on those masks. That's quite the thing. And this is why I say you're all a bunch of liars. Where's Leah at? Leah, I haven't seen you. I haven't seen you, Leah. I'm getting a little concerned. <clears throat> so what happens? They all get to Washington, D.C., and when they get to Washington, D.C., they get an update from one of the lieutenants. You all know who Marjorie uh, Trader Green is, right? Who we all suspect planted those pipe bombs. Is Leah still here? Yeah, they got, a, they got an order from Marjorie Trader Green that day leading up to the attack on the Capitol. Listen to what Marjorie was saying. Everything. If we flood the Capitol building, flood all the government buildings, go inside. These are public buildings. We own them. We own these buildings. Do you understand that? We own the buildings and we pay all the people that work in the building. We finished with our meetings here at the White House this afternoon. We had a, had a great planning session for our January 6th objection. We aren't going to let this election be stolen by Joe Biden and the Democrats. President Trump won by a landslide. Call your House reps. Call your senators from your states. We've got to make sure they're on board. We already have a lot of people engaged. Okay, stay tuned. That's Marjorie Trader Green 
after planting the pipe bombs, telling you red devil, red hat wearing you Trumpies, get ready to attack the United States Capitol on the next, on the, when, when Trump gives the order, get ready. Yeah, it's funny. It's funny because we've exposed it. It's true. Keep laughing. Same thing make you laugh will make you cry. So what happened next? Well, we all know what took place after this. There was a exchange that took place at the White House. Has anyone seen has anyone seen Leah? I'm I'm a little concerned about Leah right now because she said this was planned and she was right, but she tried to blame it on the left. But I haven't brought up anyone on the left just yet, Leah, and I want to make sure you understand this. There was an exchange that took place at the White House between Donald Trump and his vice president, Mike Pence. Donald Trump went into the office to visit Pence and said, Pence, listen, I got the I got everything in motion. I got the fake elector scheme. Can you say scheme? And I got my soldiers at the ellipse waiting. All we need to do, Pence, is we need you to do what we told you to do. And you know what Pence did that day, ladies and gentlemen? It's something I can't believe he did. He actually stood up to Donald Trump that day. He grew a little spine and he said, Mr. President, unfortunately, I can't do that because if I were to do that, that would require me to place you above the United States Constitution, a document that our founding fathers fought and bled for, a document that millions of Americans have lost their life for. I can't do it for you, Mr. President. To which Donald Trump responded and he got into Mike Pence's face and called him a nasty P word. The same P word that we heard on that Access Hollywood tape. You know what your problem is, Pence? You're a little too honest. This is what the president of the United States told his own vice president. I'll take care of this myself. He leaves out of the office. Secret Service, take me to be around my soldiers. Sir, those folks are armed to the T. They got chemical repellent. They got tactical gear. These are some dangerous people. I don't care. Take me to be around my soldiers. They're not bringing any of that to harm me. Remember this, Leah and Luke? And so Secret Service, they, they obliged the president. And so we all remember Donald Trump went to the ellipse that day. And we all remember it. When he got to the ellipse... He saw a C. Look at that. Look at all those red hats. All those Trump 2020 hats. All right. Make America great. The stop the steal. Oh, yes. And he said, I will do what I came to do at this rally. I will encourage my soldiers to engage in heinous acts of violence. And we all heard what he said that day, right? And if you didn't remember, if you don't remember what Donald Trump said that day, don't worry, I have you covered. Listen to what Donald Trump said that day, ladies and gentlemen, all right? Now it is up to Congress to confront this egregious assault on our democracy. And after this, we're going to walk down and I'll be there with you we're going to walk down, we're going to walk down, anyone you want, but I think right here, we're going to walk down to the Capitol, and we're going to cheer on our brave senators and congressmen and women, and we're probably not going to be cheering so much for some of them, because you'll never take back our country with weakness. You have to show strength and you have to be strong. And so with that, ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump's soldiers begin their assault on the United States Capitol. They began to march towards the United States Capitol with the intent to place a dagger at the throat of our democracy in an effort to keep this clown in office. On the way there, after Donald Trump tweeted, you know, Mike Pence didn't have the courage. You remember that? What happened after Donald Trump tweeted Mike Pence didn't have the courage? You know, which was him giving his supporters an order to take care of Pence. 
We all remember it. We all remember it. He wanted to unalive the vice president of the United States of America. Leah, Leah, are you still here, Leah? Do you still think it was planned, Leah? I agree it was planned, Leah. But tell me where the radical left is a part of this at, Leah, because I haven't mentioned them just yet. It gets worse, ladies and gentlemen. Luke, you're still here. I'm surprised, Luke. This part of the show usually scares a lot of Trump supporters. I'm surprised a lot of you Trump supporters are still here. This part usually scares you. There was also a situation that transpired at the Capitol that day that will go down in American history that only confirms it was not a peaceful protest. Do you all remember Ashley Babbitt? Do you all remember Ashley Babbitt? One of Donald Trump's foot soldiers. Oh, this was a this was a government inside job. You think Ashley Babbitt was a part of the government? Got it. Well, we got Ashley Babbitt on tape that day. All right. And and I want you all to listen to what Ashley Babbitt was saying, especially those of you who believes she was a government agent. Listen to what she was saying. District, why don't you worry about your own goddamn district and the shit that's going on there? You are a complete, re- you, you, I'm telling you right now, I'm putting on one note, if every single one of you politicians in California, Gavin Newsom, Jerry Brown, Maxine Waters, Duncan Hunter, what the hell is Kamala? Where is Kamala? Talking about ISIS is like KKK, we got this modern care you know what, we have thousands of people on the other side of the board, if people can't get to work, our economy is going to take an out absolute take because you guys refuse to choose America. America over your stupid political party. Capital and mom, there's an estimated over 3 million people here today. So despite what the media tells you, boots on the ground definitely say something different. There is a sea of nothing but red, white, and blue patriots and Trump. Did you hear that? There's a sea of nothing but red, white, and blue patriots for Trump. So all of that FBI and BLM and Antifa nonsense, it's out the window. One of Donald Trump's foot soldiers confirmed that day this was Trump supporters. Look at what she's wearing. And we all know what happened to Ashley Babbitt that day, right, ladies and gentlemen? We all remember what happened to Ashley that day. Remember this scene that will go down in American history. This is the moment right before Ashley Babbitt lost her life in the battlefield for Donald Trump. That was right before she lost her life. Fighting. For Donald J. Trump to remain in power illegally. This is the moment that the big lie that Donald Trump told her. Remember about the election being rigged, Leah? This is when it all ended for her. This is Donald Trump's fault. And what did Donald Trump, Leah, what did Donald Trump say, Luke, Craig, Pure blood patriot and any of you Trump supporters out there. What did Donald Trump say when he lost one of his soldiers that day in the battlefield? I'm talking about Ashley Babbitt. What did Donald Trump say? More information that stands out to me is that Donald Trump was passed a note after one of the rioters was shot in the Capitol and was made, made clear that this person had been shot, this woman had been shot in the chest. And the valet says that he offered no reaction upon learning that. He kept sitting in the chair watching the violence unplay, unfurl on TV. A non-reaction at the death of Ashley Babbitt. Wow. He didn't even care. You didn't fight hard enough for him, Ashley. So he didn't care about you. You gave him all the money that he asked. You met him there. He said he was going to go to the Capitol with you. He never showed up. And when you lost your life in the battlefield, Donald Trump didn't care. He went back home and watched it all play out on national television. Ladies and gentlemen, this is January 6th. The the way millions of us remember it. Not the way Donald Trump and his supporters like to spin it. 
This is the crime scene of January 6th. This act is why we currently have pandemonium in this country right now. Because these Trump supporters, they set the tone when they did this in the country. They made it look like it's okay to protest this way. No, it is not. And so with that being said, now that we are at the crime scene of January 6th, ladies and gentlemen, we got another update uh, with one of Donald Trump's so-called foot soldiers, all right? Uh, Ashlyn Doctor, a woman who is 70 years old, will be sentenced in September for her role in the January 6th Capitol riot. A 70-year-old Ashland woman will be sentenced in September after pleading guilty on Tuesday to several charges related to her behavior. Look at this lady right here. Full of the MAGA demon. Jacqueline Starer was most recently a per diem attending physician in the inpatient addiction recovery program at a hospital. The hospital told reporters in December of 2022 that was no longer the case. She lost her job. On Tuesday, she pled guilty to two counts of civil disorder. Thank you, Sharon, for the subscription. Assaulting, resisting, or impeding officers entering and remaining in a restricted building or grounds, disorderly and disruptive conduct in a restricted building or grounds, engaging in physical violence in a restricted building or grounds, disorderly conduct in a Capitol building, act of physical violence in the Capitol building or grounds, and parading, demonstrating, or picketing in the Capitol building. She is scheduled to be sentenced on September 5th. According to a federal affidavit, a tipster told federal investigators about Starr's participation in the riots where thousands of former President Donald Trump supporters descended on Washington, D.C. to protest the certification of the election of Joe Biden as president. The tipster reportedly told investigators that Starr bragged about getting ready to attend the event and that she would bring pepper spray and wear a knife-proof shirt. This is January 6th. This is MAGA. A bunch of criminals, a bunch of seditionist, treasonous traitors. Ladies and gentlemen, join me in giving Starer what she deserves. Because she wanted to be a traitor and get that ultimate MAGA reward. What's the ultimate MAGA re reward? Jail. And if you don't get your soul right, hell. What a chapter 11 in between. And she's getting it, ladies and gentlemen. She lost her job and she's going to prison. Let's give her what she deserves. A round of booze and shame. All right. And because she's been uh, arrested convicted and is about to be sentenced let's send her off the old-fashioned way she wants to be a soldier right well, let's send her off the old-fashioned way I'd like to begin by addressing the heinous attack on the United States Capitol. Like all Americans, I am outraged by the violence, lawlessness, and mayhem. I immediately deployed the National Guard and federal law enforcement to secure the building and expel the intruders. America is and must always be a nation of law and order. The demonstrators who infiltrated the Capitol have defiled the seat of American democracy. To those who engage in the acts of violence and destruction, you do not represent our country. And to those who broke the law, you will pay. You see that, MAGA? Where, where, anyone, seen, anyone seen Leah, Luke, Craig, or Pure Blood Patriot? I would love for you to get in the box and have a conversation with me about what I just covered.
No lies detected, what I just covered. All credible, all factual. So when you say that January 6th was planned, it was an inside job. Connect the dots. Think the thought all the way through. It was planned by Donald Trump and his circle, his inner circle. John Eastman, Mark Meadows, Rudy Giuliani, and the list goes on. It was planned. Not by Nancy Pelosi. Not by Nikki Haley. Not by the radical left. It was planned by Donald Trump. And you're all getting played like a fiddle. Do you guys understand? You Trump supporters. Do you understand why the world is laughing at America right now, MAGA? Do you understand? Because you all worship a clown. Yesterday he had a rally in Wisconsin. Did you see it? And another character in his circus came on the stage. Uncle Sam. Uncle Sam isn't even alive. He gets these two black women to come on stage. This is all a circus. And he's a clown. He does exactly what a clown does, MAGA. Look at this, ladies and gentlemen. You can't tell me that this man isn't a clown. Look at this. You listen to a man that wakes up every day. What does a clown do? Puts on makeup. Donald Trump puts on the puts on that orange makeup, paints himself. Ooh, I look so good. I look so good, don't I, Melania? Yeah, right. Clown puts on a wig. What does Donald Trump do? Puts on that bird's nest. Ooh, I look so good. Mm, I probably smell good too. Clown puts on that little jumpsuit. What does Donald Trump do? He puts on that diaper. Has the little bulge popping out on the side. You see it? And he puts on that crumpled blue suit with that silly red tie. Ooh, I look so good. I'm going to make so much money off of my supporters today. Gets onto his social media platform and gives you all your daily orders. I've never seen a circus this big in my life. You're darn right the rest of the world is laughing at us. They're not laughing at Zeus and the Democrats. No, they're laughing at you. The way he has you all under his mind control. You send them all the money you, that you can. You wear that silly red hat. And you go around TikTok and all these other social media platforms typing the silliest thing on the planet. Trump 2024. As if. You don't even have access to books or a dictionary. You got smartphones, but you seem to not be so smart, MAGA. Crying that you can't buy eggs. Crying that you can't buy gas. But we look on, we look around and you got these lifted pickup trucks that say Trump 2024 on it. Right? <laughs> make it make sense, MAGA. How are you getting these trucks if you can't buy eggs? How are you sending him money if you can't, if the economy is so bad, MAGA? How is Donald Trump raking it in off of you? How is Steve Bannon in a courtroom right now trying to justify taking all this money from you all? You're all a bunch of suckers. Yeah, I would be laughing at you too. You're, <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this country right now, we have an embarrassing situation on our hands. These Trump supporters... They're the most gullible, emotional group of people the United States has ever had to deal with. All right. But you know what? There is hope. There is hope. And it starts with this guy right now being in a courtroom in the state of New York being held accountable. I firmly believe that we need to place Donald Trump uh, under arrest, put him in a jail cell and begin to separate this abusive individual from his victim so this country can heal. Yes, Donald Trump. And his supporters, it's an abusive relationship. I'm going to call it what it is. This is a nasty cycle of abuse that needs to be broken so we, the American people, can move on as a country. But it won't be broken until this knucklehead ends up in prison. All right? On that note, ladies and gentlemen, that concludes my monologue. That concludes my monologue. It is now time to open up those boxes, the boxes, and hear from those of you who are brave enough to get in the box and to tell the truth, and you guessed it, shame the devil all right all right you know the rule you get three minutes uh you know to come in and tell your truth uh for those of you who can you know show some love to the to the panelists all right if you can show some love uh because what we're doing ladies and gentlemen is not being done anywhere else all right most of the time you hear only from the host and opposition that's how a lot of these lives are i while i don't mind hearing from opposition I do believe it's also important to just hear 
from others as well. All right. So a lot of people that come up in the box, believe it or not, you know, even though we might agree on Donald Trump, there's a lot of different areas we might not necessarily agree. And that's what makes this show uh, uh, what I call exciting, engaging and entertaining. Um, and I am also expecting those people who at the top of the show said they have the dirt on Joe Biden. You know who you are. Uh, Pure blood patriot. Luke Leah. All right. I am expecting you to come in the box and bring the evidence that Joe Biden is a criminal so that I can put this live. I can pump the brakes on this live and put it all in reverse and help you get Joe Biden out of office. So uh, to all the Trump supporters out there that claim they got the dirt on Joe Biden, please. I will mute my mic and I will let you prove that John, that Joe Biden is a criminal. Just send Zeus a guest request. All right. I don't want to hear none of that emotional nonsense, though. All right. Let's bring up our first. Good morning, Nutty. Uh, good morning, sir. How are you? I am all right. Just another day in the kingdom, you know, tending to the affairs. So, you know what uh, makes me, you know, as Arsenio used to say, things that make you go, hmm. Hmm. Yeah. I remember so, that. We, we know all of the college uh, campuses are dealing with um, protests right now. Correct. These same people who are criticizing these students and even some of these agitators, mm -hmm. the same people who are criticizing them, they're the same ones that call January 6th a peaceful protest. Bingo. They're the same ones that saying that the people of January 6th are hostages. They're the same one, you, including in Congress, are saying that nothing happened on January 6th, but then look at these kids and say, oh, they need to be arrested. Hmm. They're the same ones. You, and I, I mean, can't stand you, them. You, do, do you think that they, sh they really shouldn't even be able to speak against this, right? Is that kind of no, what you're getting? No, because the same energy you give, you're giving those treasonous traitors from J6, the same energy you're giving them, give that energy to these students who's actually who's actually out there protesting for humanity. Because the difference is between the two, they're protesting for a cause. Mm. January 6th was protesting for, well, I got to keep it clean. But, but, but what was January 6th, in your opinion? What were they really protesting? They weren't protesting. They they were committing an insurrection for a man that won't even spit on them if they were on fire. Bingo. That part. What was the purpose of January 6th? Because every time you talk about January 6th, then those people want to get it up in your box. And then they want to say, well, you remember the summer of blah, blah, blah. And all, all of these cities were being burned down by BLM. Mm. No, I don't remember all of that. I don't. Yeah, because I don't remember one city being burned down. Nope. But just like the protests of BLM, these yeah. college campuses are being infiltrated with agitators coming onto campus, and they are causing trouble. They are indeed causing trouble. Mm. But to the students, don't lose sight of what you're protesting. Don't Bingo. lose sight that you're protesting for humanity. You're protesting for people who can't speak for themselves. Yeah. But I also need you to be cautious because getting your butt kicked out of school, getting arrested, that will follow you for the rest of your life. Be smart. Mm. Yep. Be smart. Yeah. Tell them, Nutty. You, you can use your voice and you can speak it loud, but be smart. And don't get yourself caught up because there is a two tier justice system. You see how Donald Trump is getting away with everything. That's not going to be you. That's not going to be you. You will Tell be charged, you will be convicted, and you will carry a record. Be smart. Tell them. Wait, now, wait, wait. Who's not guilty? Who's not guilty? See, there's people out here that aren't understanding what you're saying, Nutty. They think. They don't understand that, you know, in terms of the, the protests that are going on, yeah, 
you're throwing your life away in some cases, depending on what you're doing in the protest. But, you know, because it goes from being, uh, you know, what I call peacefully to criminal. It goes that way, you know, in a matter of moments when you find that you're breaking the law and protesting, right? Listen, I don't mind you breaking the law when you're standing for a just cause. All right. But when you're stopping people from getting to work. Wait a second. Wait a second. You breaking the law. Wait a second. We don't endorse breaking the law over here. But no, no. But, but no, hold on. Hold on. There's some protest that does break the break the law. And I don't mind that because listen, listen, what Dr. King said, he mm. said protest is the language of the unheard. Mm. But we right. want you to protest legally. There's a but, difference but, but, between but, protesting legally but, but and... You, you didn't let me finish. You oh, didn't okay. Let me finish. okay, I just want to but make when sure. when you're stopping people from getting to work, when you're stopping people from getting to class, mm. when people are feeling threatened when they walk past the protest, that's where you've gone too far. Okay. You've gone too far. What about, what about, what about, what about okay, let's ask, I got to ask it. What about taking a building that doesn't belong to you and, you know, setting up shop and, you know, trying to, you know, run it like it's your building? Does that, does that cross the line in Nutty's world? I'm just curious. See, 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 I'm on the fence. I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence. <laughs> okay, I mean, at least you're being honest about I'm, it, I'm, right? I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to keep it a buck with you, Zeus. I'm going to keep it a buck. All right. Yeah. Because if, if it was are, my building, I'm just being these honest. Are students, yeah, yeah, yeah. If, if these are students. If these are students, it's their building because they pay to be there. So it's their building. If it's outside people, then no, you're trespassing. Okay, okay. So so let's unpack that a little bit. And I appreciate you exploring this with me. Yeah. Is it really their building or do they really just have access to it? Because to me, ownership means you got to pay some paperwork that actually says this thing is yours, no, right? Yes, I, I would own, is it your car ownership. or is it my car? You know, one no. of those things, right? Should, approach, should I be able to, uh, for a good cause, Nutty, should I be able to occupy your vehicle? Be, I'm being honest with you. I mean, because this is where the criminality kind of comes in it. No, 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 but, but it's, it's a good cause, Nutty. You know why you can't I can't hear you. I said, do you know why you can't occupy my building, my 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 car? It's Tell because me. you don't you don't make the car note. Oh, you don't pay the insurance. You don't pay the taxes. You don't even pay for no <laughs> dog no bag. So when a student when a student <laughs> signs the dotted line to go to whatever university, the University of Hucklebuck, right? They are becoming stakeholders in that university. It is their building until until. They graduate and they're not giving that school any more money. But don't doesn't uh doesn't the taxpayers to a certain degree also pay that? No. No. Mm, mm. Okay, okay, listen, we could go. I think this is an interesting conversation, but you know, if people were to if you were to ask me, Nutty, I would say this, since we're putting our opinion our, our opinions out there. Uh, you know, managing property at a university, there are designated officials that actually have to do that, make sure the building is in compliance with, you know, state law, federal law, right? There's people there that actually have to be accountable for that building, correct? Oh, for sure. For sure. So, but what, so, but what, I'm talking, what I'm talking about, what I'm talking about, let's say a group of students, they're going to the admin building mm. and they want to do a sit-in. They want to do a sit-in. That is absolutely within their rights to do a sit-in. And I'm pretty sure the, the campus probably has policies about how they should go about doing that, right? That's kind of how this works, at least from my understanding. My concern, honestly, is simply when you start having people take the law within their own hands, you end up with chaos on your hands. That's how I think, Nutty. I mean, I'm not saying that, you know, what they did is or is it right. But I'm a man of, you know what? We have we have laws, we have rules for a reason. I'm one of those people. That's just how I think. But maybe we could go down this path a little bit further. Maybe one, you know, closet of truth when I do that again. But I'm not saying I'm right and I'm not saying you're wrong. I'm just sharing my opinion. No, and, and that's fine because we all know, you know, Zeus, we all know that your opinion can be flawed, especially when you talk about how handsome you are. So we know- ah, I knew it. You already know that that's a small opinion. <laughs> you you just writing that bill. I just I saw your finger. I saw your finger. You're like, no, you ain't seen nothing. Let, let me just cut this dude off. 
Yeah. But, no, no, but no. Listen, listen. Yes. I want the students to be safe. I want the students to be smart. I want them to use their voice, but don't do it that's going to get you caught up. Bingo. Don't do it that's going to make other people feel uncomfortable. Bingo. I want you to make the people who needs to feel uncomfortable, uncomfortable. The people who are in power to make change, not mm. other people trying to get to work, not other students trying to get to class. Yep. There. Those are not the people you should be making feel uncomfortable. Mm. Make them uncomfortable because of your speech and because you are going to stand your ground and say right is right and wrong is wrong. Mm. Dr. King did, did not get arrested over 75 times just because it was it was a, a, against the law to do whatever it was he was doing. He's like, I'm standing for something. Because if you don't stand for something, you'll fall for anything. Amen. Look, look at MAGA. Thank you for the time, Zeus. All right. All righty then. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to my good friend, Nutty Professor. You, 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 you see... This is what I'm saying. While we do a great job of uniting against Donald Trump, we also do an excellent job tackling uh, these kind of conversations, these kind of challenging issues that are going on in this country. And one thing that I appreciate, Nutty, about that situation, that conversation is not one time did he say this is President Biden's fault, right? I see what MAGA, you see what MAGA is trying to do. Why, why Joe Biden did this? No, 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 no. See, see, because see, the moment Joe Biden inserts himself, you know what you're going to do, MAGA? And I thought about this because, you know, I know Biden is eventually going to have to weigh in on this. But this is a, we're in a delicate situation. The moment Biden gets out here and says something, you know what you MAGA demons are going to do? You're going to all of a sudden say, see, Biden. Biden was behind all of this. I see what you traders are about to try to do, and it's not going to work. Like I said, I've heard every MAGA lie, every MAGA conspiracy, and I've debunked every single one of them. All right, thank you all for tapping the screen and sharing the live, all right, and doing your best to subscribe. Let's bring up our next panelists uh i don't i'm looking for some maga demons out there that got that dirt on joe biden please bring that dirt on joe biden to this live asap good morning Ange. No, a, a, a turg send zeus a guest request good morning charles how are you doing good morning good morning good morning i hope you're doing well i am i am this is our first time doing business my brother Oh, no, 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 no. I think you have a little amnesia because I have been on here multiple times. Okay, well, I wasn't following you, so I'm imagining that maybe I had too many followers, and so I've deleted some, now I'm following you, all right? So that way I keep track of who I've spoken with, all right? My bad, Charles. All so, right, no, I forgive you, my brother, no problem. Right. Thank you, no CZ. I love it, all right. Now, my my issue with, with this upcoming uh, election is that... um. I'm not too thrilled with either or, but, you know, we have to go with the lesser of two evils. And, of course, uh, we know that Trump is the most evilest one that we are working with. Right. And I'm not going to be up here long, but I just want you to um, know how I truly feel about um, Donald Trump. And I'm not really happy with Donald Trump. OK. What, what part of the country are you, uh, you know, calling from, if you don't mind? I'm in North Carolina. Okay, okay, all right. I got some. I know some folks out there that are under the MAGA demon. All right, some colored folks. So, well, well, well no, well, I'm not one of those. Okay, okay, but I, you know, I'm saying, I know there's some colored folks out there that support Donald Trump, and I tell you, I it blows my mind. I know that's right. I know that. I'm, I ha I'm not going to be here long, and I have a message for Donald Trump and his followers. Okay. And uh, I hope you don't get offended by it. No. Fuck down Trump. Fuck down Trump. Nigga, fuck down Trump. Yeah, yeah, fuck down Trump. Hey! Fuck down Trump. Yeah, fuck down Trump. Yeah, nigga, fuck down Trump. That's exactly how I do it. When... When did you, let me ask you a question. And by the way, that's a, uh, you know, typically we keep it clean on the show, but I don't think you can actually modify that in this, in this moment. All right. When did you start to feel that passionate about Donald Trump? Well, this is history. It was Charlottesville. Mm. 
It was Haiti's the shithole, mm -hmm. Africa the shithole. Oh, now we got to keep it clean now. We oh, gotta I'm keep... sorry. Okay, <laughs> well, see, you said you've been here on the show. Okay, hold on. See, I got to <laughs> give it to you. I got to give it to him. Okay, well, now. Well, well, well uh, could, forgive me, brother. Okay, okay. We're getting a lot of forgiveness and from this out. point on, I will keep it clean. Thank you, brother. Thank you, brother. I'm All just right. going by some of the things that he said in the past, you know, that this term and how he was um, mocking people with disabilities. Mm. How he um, offends women. Um, it's his just a lot of things that he say and does that really just t turns me off. And when he had his apartments in New York, he wouldn't allow people of color to rent from him. Mm. That's what turned me against Donald Trump. Got I it. I don't have my best interests or any of my people's best interests at heart. So that's why I'm totally against this man because he is, to me, a blatant racist. Bingo. And, blatant. Um, I, but, he, I, well, but then, you know, you still have these uh, blacks for Trump out there, especially in the good state of North Carolina. You know well, something? Th talk those blacks for Trump have scales over their eyes oh. and wax in their ears because they cannot see nor hear. They are dealing with the, the synagogue of Satan. Mm. And I just can't believe that they are so intrigued with their god and they yeah. take him as a god yeah and i don't know why yeah. i have no clue to why and he feels like he's above the law mm. he feels that all the stuff that he did in the insurrection he should be pardoned for now if that was you or me at this particular time am i time up that time's up so I, go ahead i you see can you finish. ring that bell but that's okay no, 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 you didn't see anything. Stop telling people how I'm, okay, listen, the, you know, you see me over here willing and dealing, that's about it, all right? But the bell is automatic, all right? But finish your thought, brother, all right? But, and don't, but, and don't um, let Nutty, don't let Nutty pollute your mind. Nutty, he, he, he sometimes is right, but most of the time he's questionable. Let's go. All right, then, okay. Well, I, I'm, just gonna, I'm, go, I'm just going to end it at this note, and I'm, I appreciate you giving me, t me the time to speak, and I enjoy your series that you do each and every day. Thank you. And I just love your content. Thank and you, brother. And you have a blessed day, and thank you. All right, all right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to Brother Charles. No lies detected. All right, you see what we're doing, ladies and gentlemen, this is what we call getting the truth out here so that millions and millions of people across the country can, you know, weigh in on it. All right, this is very important work that we're doing. All right, let's move it along. All right, good morning, good morning, Takesha. How are you doing, Takesha? Good morning, going, uh-oh, it looks like the connection disconnected. All right, I guess something happened. Oh, I'll bring up Shay. Good morning, Shay. How are you doing? How are you doing? I'm good. How are you? Uh, another day in the kingdom, you know, tending okay. to the affair. Yes. You All haven't right. had any brave uh, MAGA come up in the box yet? Uh, no, mm -hmm. no, no, no. Okay. For, some, for some strange reason, uh, they haven't mm -hmm. came up and brought the evidence that Joe Biden is a criminal. Turg, yeah. Turg, do you got the evidence that Joe Biden is a criminal? Come on up, Turg. Yeah, Bring we'd it. love to see the evidence because, man, they sure can't. They sure can't show it. You know, I mean, how how long have they been trying to impeach Biden? About like <laughs> two years now. <laughs> About two years. So and they've been to... trying to get dirt on him since Trump was in office, right? Oh yeah. Oh well, yeah. Hello. The first impeachment of Trump was him calling Zelensky to get evidence on Biden. To help him in the election, right? So right. again, another evidence of election <laughs> right? Yep. I mean, who tried to rig the election? Donald Trump. Not only Bingo. with his first impeachment, but also his second impeachment it was all about trying to steal the election. Yeah. To influence the election, turn things over, get the dirt, because he knew he couldn't win on his own merits. He knew that. Yeah. He knew he was unpopular much unlike he was up there screaming about the fact he was so popular mm, oh so my true. god his too oh my god you pray for me oh that's very sweet <laughs> thank you turd turd turd, turd. turd which one do we call you i'm not real sure anyway but i appreciate it. i'll take all the prayers yeah. that's, very, that's very christian of me very yeah, yeah, very kindly yeah. of you appreciate you anyway yeah. um 
because uh, yeah, we're gonna be praying for you, Turk. Trust, because when Donald Trump loses again, you might you might have you might have a, you might we, have a well. We expect to see uh, Turk Turk in a DC jail cell once Trump loses again with the other <laughs> hostages. Right. I, I, I look forward to you and reading about you, Turg, you and your friends on this next election. I, I do, seriously. And you know exactly how we get down over here. Ah, I'm going to pause the show and, and we're going to do a big shout out to you once you get there with those other hostages. Sorry, Shay. Uh, no worries. Hey, Turg, you need about 50 more, 55 more friends. So try to find that and you can come on up and tell us why, why we all need your prayers. Yes. But, um, y'all. Yeah. So kind of funny on the Trump trial going on right now. Oh. So, so they were they were doing. Um, hold on, real quick. They were doing this, uh, you know, like four more, you know, um, uh, uh, contempts, right? Because he had yeah. four more statements that they felt went against his gag order, right? One of them had to do with him making fun of Michael Cohen or talking about Michael Cohen, right? Yeah. And so, Todd Blanche, Trump's attorney, literally says. Michael Cohen in a tweet or in a rant on, I don't know if it was TikTok or whatever, literally called Don Von Schitt's in pants. Mm -mm -mm. And so when, when that happens, then, you know, Trump, of course, is going to have a hard time not responding to that. The right. funny thing is, is that the nickname Von Schitt's in pants is now in the recording <laughs> of the trial. <laughs> wow. 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 I mean, you what can't a circus! Pick this up, y'all. That the ex president of the United States has now been deemed von Schützenpants on in the trial. It is now on the court record. Wow! <laughs> wow! Wow! What a circus! This is sad. <laughs> I mean, I can't so, make this up. So, Blanche, you're saying that you're. Your client is so thin-skinned that he can't handle ridiculous, you know, nicknames. I mean, come on. Wow. This is what we're dealing with. And then did you see in the speech, I think it was either in Michigan or Wisconsin. I think the Wisconsin one was the outside one that was blowing around his, uh, he couldn't read his teleprompter. Yeah. You know how, you know how he makes fun of Trump uh, or Biden? You know, you know, with the pause, you know, the, <laughs> they're going to sit this whole thing, pause, pause. But what did Trump do with the teleprompter, Shay? Remind oh, me. Oh, he was trying to get it from blowing in the wind because he couldn't read it. And then he just went off on this rant about the fact that he, he says that um, that they're going to win bigly next time because they're, he, they're going to get 250 million votes this time. 250 <laughs> million people are going to vote for him this time. Wow. Hey, hey, wow. So what what's the current population of the United States? Anybody? Uh oh, uh oh. What's the what's the size? He says he's getting more numbers than Barack Obama. That means he's he should win, right? Obama Obama Biden Obama. Wow. Yeah, so yeah, it's kind of funny. So so I guess that what do we do? Throw away all the children we have in this country? So three hundred and thirty million, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. So how is he going to get 250 million? Does that mean that it, it just is so ridiculous? The numbers and the things. The, ma the math so isn't mathing. He's such a clown. Yeah. The math isn't mathing, Shay. They know right. it. They know the writing is on the wall. Donald Trump yeah. is not he going to win. He only has 60% of Republican support, not 95%, right? His support has dropped by 30%. It's just a fact, guys. Anyway, okay, I'm done. I just wanted to tell you all about the, the official court record now has. Uh -oh. Fabulous nickname. Hopefully, Snor Snorleone or whatever it was Don Snorleone. Maybe yeah. that's get in there. <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, Shay, I appreciate it. All right. Love it. you guys. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give the beautiful Shay a round of applause. <laughs> no lies detected. Let's go. All right. See, ladies and gentlemen, it's not that hard to really get in the box and tell the, the truth. It's like my grandmother always says. Tell the truth and what shame the devil. All right, let's bring up our next panelist. All right, um, who do we have here? Bama. Uh, uh, 
butter boy beer. you and shay are just like old joe biden a puppet on the screen and mm. telling lies that's all y'all okay, do okay 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 let's slow you down all right i know you're and, and you know what else and it's joe biden's fault by all these uh Palestine people crossing the border that's why they're doing all that stuff at the colleges and really? put up the, their sign their flag over the united states flag and that is so, illegal so wait a second are you just here to rant is that what this is about or is there something you would like to actually have a conversation about because i can let you keep on ranting you got three minutes all right i just got a soundtrack to play with you if that's what you want to do you do what you got to do okay so do you want to have the conversation or you just want to get it off your chest well, i want to know do you why do you support uh, uh palestine at the at the colleges do i yeah have you ever heard me say anything about that but hey, but hey, what ha what you know the reason they over here if the border hadn't been wide open. Oh, so they came from bo the border? They came yeah, from down south? Which border? What I, the, the Mexico border? Uh, it, it don't matter which border. It could be up. Did they come border. through Florida perhaps maybe, you know, because you can, you know, catch a, a, get on a boat and come in through Florida. So I got to ask, give us the screenshot, Bama, of the evidence to support that. Do you have it on you? But do you, do you support the, uh, the flag been over the United States flag. Absolutely not. You know that. You remember what? remember when we had this conversation and I said, do you support the, the the Trump flag being over the United States flag that happened on January 6th? Uh, no, you did not. You didn't uh, tell me that. Oh, no, no, no. They did do that. They took down the U.S. flag and replaced it with a Trump 2020 flag. Did you that's support me, that? That's Mr. Information. No, 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 no. To answer the question, do you no, support it or no, not? No, Information, prove it. Where's your facts at? Show okay, me the, okay, show okay. Me the evidence. Show okay, me well the evidence. then I'm going to say the same thing about everything you said. Then since you don't want to trust me, bro, I can't trust the word I'm you gonna said. Do you, I'm going to do you like Show me, I'm, Show me one screenshot hey, you got. What's I'm the screenshot? Gonna you, hey, I'm going to do you. Hey, I'm going to do, <laughs> do you like Stacy and Snuggles does. No, no, no. You're not going to do this like face. that. No, 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 you're not going to do Zeus like that. Listen, listen, I just hit that. Listen, I just did him the way I do Stacy and Snuggles. Uh, Bama, show us the screenshot you got, champ. Whatever you got on your phone right now, just show us a screenshot. All right, let me unmute you. You only got 30 seconds, Bama. Unmute. Do you have, do you have uh, a screenshot on you to support anything? Do you have a screenshot? Uh-oh. Uh oh, he left, ladies and gentlemen. Uh oh, uh, let's give Bama what he deserves, ladies and gentlemen. A round of you guessed it. Shay, I hear you have a screenshot. Good mo Okay, Shay, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, so he said me... you and I are liars. Oh, I know, right? I love yeah. that. Um, yeah. Hold on real quick. I've got that picture. Okay, okay, okay. Bama. Where's Bama at? I didn't drop you, Bama. Come on, send a guest request back. We can air this out not. right now. He said it was he said it was misinformation. I've seen the video before. I just don't have the oh, screenshot. Yeah. Let me but, see. I've but, got it somewhere. Let me see. Where's Bama Butterbean at? Bama, don't run from this live. You didn't get a warning or anything. You just dropped. Like a oh, there it is. Oh, say what, Bama Butterbean? Oh, Bama, Bama. There it is. <laughs> they, take, wow. they took down the American flag. Oh, here he is. One, and then the second one's coming down, and they're all putting up the Trump. Flag. All right, so let's get our apologies ready. No, uh, hey. no Bama, Bama. No. We want that apology. No. That's Photoshop. I'm a photo uh, shop expert. That's Photoshop. Oh my God, Butterbean, you need to stop. That is Photoshop. I'm telling no, you. No, it's not. Well, yes, There's it video is. Video of I'm it, telling. Butterbean. I, I'm a Photoshop expert. That's no, what you're okay. not. Okay, okay. Obviously well, listen. Not. No, do you have the original photo, Bama? That is Photoshop. Photo I'm telling okay. you. Okay. okay do you have the original? It's not Photoshop. Right, there. Yes, it is, Shay. You also y'all do is lie. That's, that's all you do. <laughs> What about Joe Biden? Let all these Palestinians come across across the border and and send them to the colleges down there to do that stuff. And you Bama, know what we're it's Palestine and Palestinian. Well, Palestine, That's how you pronounce it. Okay. Well, I know you. I know well, English is hard for you, but hey, and, that's, and, <laughs> that's Photoshop. No, it's Bama, not. Bama, Bing. Bama, do you have? the actual photo to prove hey, that it's Photoshop. If that was, I guarantee you that was Democrats did that to make themselves look good. 
Okay, Bama, which one do you want to yeah. stick with? Have you, you said it was an IQ test. I'm curious. I, or did you take your did you take your medicine? No, hey, that is Democrats probably did that to make herself look no, good. No, sir, that's, that's not Democrats. How can you prove? Hey, can you prove that's Republicans? Can you say Republicans? <laughs> can you even yeah, say Republicans? Bama, Bama, Bama. Listen, Bama. I'm starting I'm to realize. I, Bama, listen. I gotta move it on, Bama. All right, like but Trump. Jesus Christ. Yeah, but Bama, I just want to let you know I you're a liar. How you, no. Hey, how do you know Trump wears diapers too? Did you ever see him wear diapers? Yes. Yes. That's a, how do how do you see that? We, we we have we have screenshots and pictures. Don't make well, me ask I, them. Don't make me get someone else to come up hey, here with a picture that you're gonna say has been photoshopped. Bama. Don't make me, hey. Apologize, Bama. Nope. Apologize. No, 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 no. Apologize. What about, what no, oh, here we go. Here he Joe goes. Biden. Ladies and gentlemen, about, listen to Bama's greatest hits. Here he goes. Christians. Listen to what, Bama's greatest hits. What ladies about and Joe Biden sniffing little girls in there? Here he goes. He does sniff little girls, Bama. That's yes, good. Yes, he does. You seen the video? Go ahead, Bama. It's uh, clearly Bama. Bama. You can find the video. All right, all right, all right. Oh, wait a second. We got Jess. Oh, Jess, you have it on you. Okay. Yeah. Uh, we might have to bring. Video. Okay. All right. Yeah, and then we got a... one. One moment, real quick. Okay. Let me get my other device. Okay. So we got we got proof that the American flag was taken down by MAGA, which Bama said is photoshopped. And, and now, Jess, I'm supposing you have Trump in the diaper. Is that what we're going to show? I I I, I shot have, when he was in Puerto have Rico. A J6 video for the clowns in the Oh, comments. oh, mm -hmm. you got the video of this actual yes. moment. Okay, yes. okay, 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 Bama. Well, we can see if it's photoshop. And, 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 and I, now, made, huh? I made a video yesterday for this and I just thought it was really good timing for that to come up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So These Bama, send went. a guest request. Where's Bama at? It's in the guest request. See, I thought we were done with this, but it seems like we're going to go deeper into this little conspiracy. All right, Bama, I, and I want to hear what his narrative is. He's probably going to say these are Hollywood actors and that's not really the Capitol. I know that's what the he's fans. going to say. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, okay. And just FYI, no, we do not support the taking down of the American flag and replacing it with anything ever, including the Confederate flag. All right, we can't hear it, Jess. I think you're on mute. Thank you. 
time. Uh, this is Joseph Biggs on Hunt for Saturday calling for a part. Take a listen. Oh, I know he'll part, I believe that with all my heart. You know, the, the thing is, is hopefully getting him, uh, you know, for him to be able to get into the position where he can at least be, I think, on the ballot to run right. You have one minute remaining. I do believe that Donald J. Trump will pardon us, and he should. He didn't do anything. He's wearing that red, white, and blue Trump jacket while attacking police, protecting the entrance to the Lower West Terrace of the U.S. Capitol January 6th. Palmer telling the judge he was the one in the Department of Justice images who threw a wooden plank at police, then sprayed a fire extinguisher at officers until it was empty, then threw the empty fire extinguisher canister at the line of police. Today, Palmer not acting as tough as the man in these pictures, sobbing onto the shoulder of his defense attorney moments before the two men entered court for Palmer to plead guilty to felony assault on law enforcement. That's where he was asked, uh, what was it? Sometime this week if he would pardon the Proud Boys and he walked away. Do you have, well, okay, do you have the part? Yeah, the flag video is what we were looking for. Oh, the flag video. Hold Mm -hmm. on. He wants. They want, he doesn't believe. He doesn't believe anything we'd show him, would he? Absolutely. See, so we're as we're getting this uh straightened out, all right. You let us oh wait a second, let's see. All right, let's see how that works. Wow, wow, that's pretty dope right there. All right. Um we are going to oh my gosh. Let's see. Uh Bama, where are you at? I, I would like to see you come up here and defend the indefensible. When they say that we don't have receipts, we're going to get those receipts. All right, let's go, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, Let me see. I might be able to get it up. Hold on. Am I able to? Have I ever done that before? Hold on. Hold on, ladies and gentlemen. Hold on. Oh. Hold on. I think I probably pressured You have it? Yeah, let's see. I think I've got it here. Let's see. Let me see. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. This is it. All right. Let me expand. Expand. Shay. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Let's go. All right. I'm going to give me two seconds. I'll take my stuff out. Bama, are you still there, Bama? We're going to settle this matter today. All right. So let's go ahead and settle this. This is nasty. We got to do this. This is nasty. Okay, sorry. I'm gonna show you my cell phone. Obviously, I'm gonna turn the camera. I'm gonna turn this off. Okay, I've got that turned around. Excellent. I don't know. You got the same one, Shay. Okay. <laughs> wow. And there it is, right there. There it is, right there. Bama, Bama, right. Earth, Earth to Bama. I don't, I don't think my pictures was photoshopped. Do y'all? Nope. And they look at the, look at the American flag. There it is. Look at the American flag being taken down. The Trump flag. And being they throw it flag. down there to a sea of red, white, and blue, MAGA demons. Yep. Bama, Bama, where are you at, Bama? Come on back up here. I want to know what you were saying about the the Palestinians again. Come on, and the flag, Bama. Come on, Bama. Where are you at, Bama? See, I, I Bama, we're back in the kitchen now, Bama. Yeah. I sent you another request, you liar. Get hey, up here. Still, hey, get up here and apologize. That could be a liberal or Democrat putting that damn flag up there and getting paid to do it too. You can't. That ain't got no. Sir, proof. Dad, what do you do? We got paid for it, girl. The, Hey, I guarantee you. I guarantee you, it's a damn liberal d- Democrat just to do that. Make so, 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 uh-huh. so. Let me get this straight, Bama. You're just flat out. Be, you're just gonna go and go down the deep end, right? You're just. You're, there's nothing that'll change your mind, no, right? Oh, so wait. I won't. If Donald, if Donald Trump goes to prison, I'm still gonna vote for him being president. We know, Bama. We know, honey. It's all right. It's all right. You know what? We're gonna call you, Bama. You're a lost cause. 
All right, and I and I and I don't say that. I, I I rarely have to go that direction, but as far as I'm concerned, you're a dangerous individual and no. a lost hey, cause. I'll you're tell you one thing. you're you a don't... radical MAGA demon. You're a seditionist, treasonous traitor. You don't deserve to be in the United States of America. Why don't you leave and go to no, Russia, Bama? Serious? Do you do you need do you need? Listen, listen, Bama. No, Bama, would you like leave. for us to help you get to Russia today? We can help you get out of this country. We don't if need you. Think you if y'all think y'all damn man enough or woman enough to get me out of this damn country. No, I'm asking you. Be a man. No. Take a, take no, the money and leave. So. Take the no, money think, and leave. No, you I think you need to leave. What, what's Put keeping you here? Down and we'll get you hey, out of the recliner. What's about, keeping I'm you not. here, Bama? What about Joe Biden? Let Bama. Oh, what Bama. Biden? Bama. Bama. What's keeping you in the United States? Hold on. I have what Bama, what's Biden keeping you? Bama, Bama, Bama are you going to answer me? Hey, Bama, you, you know what Joe Biden just did? Jesus Christ. He just Why came did Joe out? Biden let all Joe Biden just came out and made a speech, Bama. He came out in the White House and he basically condemned the protester, protesters oh, in did? the universities. He did. Today? He's a liar. Yes. He's, He's a liar. liar. I would oh, love to see something on you with your president. Joe Biden to his face, I'll tell you. He doesn't support <laughs> what these kids are doing. He told them to stop, and he also said anti Semitism is, has no place in this country. He did an yeah. excellent speech. I highly go watch. You need to go watch your president and what he is telling these students and stop getting your panties in a wad. No, no, no. And, and, with that, and with that, uh, Bama, I'm going to ask you one last time before I move on and vanish you. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ban you from the lot. I, I gotta tell, I what, gotta, I gotta tell you this one time. Let, no, 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 let me let me let me, let me, let me say something to you, Bama. Let me say something to you, Bama. All right, I'm I had to mute your nasty your nasty self. Why stay in the United States, Bama? Why not leave? My friend Nutty, we put together funding for folks like you to leave this country. And no one is taking us up on that offer. Why stay in the country with hey, the Democrats? Why I not say, leave? All I say, get your steaks ready and pay Snuggles his steaks. Hey, Bama, <laughs> I have a question. Jesus so Christ. if you think Joe Biden sniffs kids, he does. Why, hold on, hold on. Let me finish my question. Watch the why video. Are you, shut up. There's no sound of sniffing, but okay, go ahead, Justin. Why? are you following such young girls mm. ain't, no, ain't nobody following no young girl. yeah you are bro yeah no, you are really so. funny though really mm. funny spot on and on mm. brand for your kind yeah whatever you bama 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 it's always the another another three. another nasty yeah, well, conservative it's always the another, you know what Ange? i'm with you Ange. ladies and gentlemen let's get a, let's get rid of nasty bama nasty bama butter what now we know why you call yourself butterbean Half naked women, mm. and they look pretty damn young. Mm. Bye, Bama. Go get help. Bye, Bama. Go get help, professional help. You won't find that kind of help on TikTok. Always I'm not even if I could give it to you, I wouldn't even give it to you. You're that disgusting. Yep. All right. Wow. You see what's going on out here, ladies and gentlemen? These Trump supporters are disgusting and deranged lunatics. Not even worthy. Not even worthy to be in this country. But they, they, they stay here in the United States crying and complaining. A bunch of liars. All right, you two. I got to move it on. Oh, my no, God. No, no. Yeah. I'm going <laughs> to drop down. Bama, stop death. sniffing little girls. Don't be around kids. Seek therapy. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nothing more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful Jessica Shay once again. Oh my God, let me get this live. You know, back onto the the. Yeah, there we go. There we go. We're back in the style that I am used to. Bama, every single thing you said was a lie, and it was exposed in real time today. Don't worry about Joe Biden. Worry about your special behind. All right. You've been caught being a sinner and the worst of the sinners. The ones that are in wolves, the, the wolves in sheep clothing. 
Bama, do better. Get professional help. You have no room, really, to speak about anybody with all of those sins that you got. You know, there's a good passage in the Bible. You can't tell somebody how to get a, how to get a splinter out of their eye when you sitting there with these big old two by fours covering your nasty eyes. You ain't nothing but a nasty, nasty individual and a liar. Ladies and gentlemen, let me bring up my next panelist, all right? Oh my gosh, what a show. What a show. Good morning, uh, Takesha. How are you doing? Hey, Zeus. How are you? I'm all right. I'm all right. Just another day in the kingdom tending to the affairs as usual. What you all have to remember is that Alabama is 47th in education in the country. Mm. That means Bama is one of the reasons mm. education is number 47 in the state of Alabama. <laughs> okay? Wow. You cannot give sense to somebody who wasn't born with any. Amen. Who wasn't educated with any. Amen. And who probably dropped out in the third grade to put on his overalls, hitch up that trailer, and till the yard mm. for a couple of butter beans and cornbread. Amen. Okay? Tell him to yeah. Keisha. Tell now, Shay don't take that prayer because that prayer ain't coming no further than his lip. <laughs> <laughs> it ain't coming out. No, it ain't even reaching the ceiling to wow. God's ears. Now, tell him, tell him. This is what I wanted to talk about, Zeus. Go ahead, get him. Now, I, I want to talk about the people that say that um, this is a witch hunt and they're just trying to stop Trump from winning. And um, the court cases are making sure he can't get on the campaign trail. Right. And I'm going to say this because I said it on another live. If he was such a great president, Mm -hmm. and his presidency was so perfect, why would he have to go out there and say it? Oh, why? That's a good question. Why Why you got to be on the campaign trail if you had the best presidency of any other president? Why you got to go out there and prove yourself or talk to people about your presidency? Mm. That's just like me being a chef. Okay. And people put my name out there. And I work at Shea Maurice. Mm. And I leave Shea Maurice. I don't have to get on Facebook or TikTok or put a sign in my yard saying, Amen. hey, I'm a great chef. I moved to Shea Maurice. People are going to find me. Yep. The because word of itself. mouth is the best advertisement a person can have. Bingo. He don't have to get out there and keep lying to those people if he was this great renowned president. Right. So him being on the campaign trail or not being on there should not affect the great job they swear he did, and he'll still get those votes. Amen. He wants to be on the campaign trail so he can keep feeding these people a delusion and letting that toupee sway back and forth <laughs> and hypnotizing them. <laughs> so he can, he can control Tell them to so, so he can control their minds more and more with each thing they say. They keep talking about crowd size. Those are the same stupid people that keep going in their savings, running from state to state to hear the same thing from the same man that has tricked them for the whole time. He's so been, correct. He's been alive. Amen. Tell them. Now cut it out. Tell them. No, Biden doesn't have to get out there and campaign. He's doing it, but for what? Yeah. Just put a post up of everything you did, Biden. Yeah, we all know what Biden's record is. It speaks for itself. We know. Yeah. They don't know because they don't want to know. They're not going to go look it up. They're not going to do any research because people love to be angry about something. They Ain't love to something? go against somebody. They don't even, they think Trump mm. is going to save them. And right. if he gets back in, they're going to realize that they're in the same boat we're in. Tell them. And they Tell don't them. have a paddle, and we're going to push them right on in the water. As they, as we should. That's where they belong. Yeah, you're they not don't want to use their mind. We're going to treat you like the people that was in Nineveh that pushed Jonah right on in that water. <laughs> <laughs> Tell them, Takesha. You're not, we riding with Biden. When you realize you should have rolled with him, too, we're not going to let you on the boat. Hey, man. Tell them. At all. So take your little paddle. Hitch up your little trailer and go on about your business. Because Trump <laughs> is just really making y'all look real bad. You're bending over. Every mm. time you get the KY jelly out, you get excited. 
Here he comes. You ain't lying. You, you, you get too excited lying. for me to be a bend over Bobby. Stand up and Amen. be a man. Yeah. Be a man. Come on. Yeah. Tell them, Takesha. They know it. That's why they out here lost in the sauce, right? Lost in the sauce in Poe Bama. Mm, mm, mm. I'm going to yes. stop telling people where I'm from because I'm thoroughly embarrassed. And he don't tell me something. He's a Photoshop expert. No, you're not. Bama, you don't even look like you're a language arts expert. Tell him. Tell Cut him. it out. Tell him. I agree with you, Takesha. He knows he's a liar, a, a cheater, and a traitor. And his pants are on fire. Agree. Liar, liar, your pants are on fire. Tell him. Now, get, I'm going right. to get this. All right, all right. Well, listen up. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up to the beautiful Takesha. No lies detected. See you later. All right, all right, you too, and thank you for all that you do. All right, let's bring up our next uh, panelist. All right, good morning, good morning, good morning. Uh, who do we have here? Um, uh, do I, I don't think I'm following you, all right? All right. Dims, Dims. Good morning. And Nelsie. Hey, how you doing? Um, all right, this is our first time uh, doing business, correct? Yeah, you got an echo. Am I on speakerphone or Bluetooth? Yeah, you're you're on a speakerphone or something. <laughs> oh, all right. Well, there's a little bit of an echo. Do you have uh, headphones? Let me let me see. Can you hear me better now? Yes, I can. Yeah. All right. All I right. think it's yeah. the same kind of. I guess it's kind of the same. We'll work with it. Uh, so this is your first time on the show, correct? Yes. All right, I got some questions to ask you, and then you get your three minutes. Fair enough? Fair. Fair enough. First question. Do you think the 2020 election was rigged? Absolutely not. It's a complete lie by Trump. Okay. Good answer. Next question. Uh, who would you say is responsible for the attack on the Capitol on January 6th? Donald John Dementia Trump. Okay. And I'm assuming you're going to get the last question right. Do you believe Joe Biden is guilty of any crimes? No, not all at right. all. Fair enough. Well, what brings you to the show this bright and early? Oh, I, I love your show. I oh. listen to it every morning. Oh, really? Well, thank you, brother. I appreciate that. All right. Yeah, yeah. You you got the one of the best shows I, I've seen around, you know. Oh, wow. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Uh, what part of the country are you uh, recalling I'm from, from? I'm from New Jersey. Oh, shout out to New Jersey. Yes, uh, right next to New York City. And, and how would you describe your relationship with MAGA? MAGA... They're, they're a threat to the entire world and the country. Mm. These guys, uh, these guys are uh, goose steppers, if you know what I mean. Wow, <laughs> you're gonna take it there. Yeah, yeah, oh. they're goose steppers. So, so do you think, uh, do you really think that Donald Trump uh, is the victim of a witch hunt in any way? Do you think this is all political? Because what I'm trying to, I know a lot of people aren't keeping up with the trials, right? But And they might just be picking up on bits and pieces about what's going on. Is there any part of you that believes this could be a witch hunt? You know, let me put it this way. Anybody who, who, um, who believes that the trials of Donald Trump is a witch hunt is not even living in reality. Mm. They're living in an alternate universe, and I don't think there's any hope for them. Mm. Because the American justice system does not work that way. Got it. Yeah. The American justice system is not subject to the orders of the President of the United States or anybody's orders. Police officers and the courts go to work regardless of the orders or no orders of the President of the United States. And the President has no jurisdiction over the courts is a separation of powers. Yep. yep. It sounds like you yeah. are, you understand how government works here in this country. It's hard to believe that anybody would buy the lies of Trump, but I guess he, he understands the IQ of his supporters very well. Yeah. <laughs> he, he knows they're not that, he knows they're not that bright. He knows they're not the best, the best and the brightest. <laughs> And they're and they're easy to take advantage of, right? 
Yeah, the, the whole thing is they they think they think, you see, that they want a dictatorship because because they enjoy the freedoms mm. and the liberties of the United States. And they don't understand that dictatorship yes. Yes. will take their rights away along with everybody else's. Yeah. There's nothing yeah. good about a dictator. And we certainly aren't going to permit one in the greatest democracy in history. Tell them. Yes. Yes, yes. And, and so I do feel like we're at a point where we have to save MAGA from itself, right? Because they're in a nasty, abusive relationship with their cult leader, and they can't get themselves out of it unless folks like you and I continue to tell the truth and, and, and demand accountability for from Donald Trump, right? Yes, I, I, I'm crossing my fingers that the courts hold them accountable. The courts seem to be failing us. Yeah. They you really know, they, they're not moving at the speed you and I would expect them. But I will say when I look back, it's just it's taking them a long time to do what they know inevitably they got to do, which is why I firmly believe at the end of the day, Donald Trump will be spending some time behind bars. Yes. All right. That's what I'm praying for. Yeah, me too. Yeah, me too. All right, brother. But listen, I got to move it along and get up out of here. All right. I really do appreciate it. All right. All right, Suze, it's great talking to you. Keep uh, up the good work. All right, and I gave you uh, a follow, all right, so I can know you and I have spoken already at least. All right, ladies and gentlemen, let's give Dems uh, a round of applause. All right, thank you, thank you, thank you. All right, let's bring up our next uh, panelist. Good morning, PA. Good morning. All right. How are you oh, doing this morning? Oh, it's so morning? good to talk to you, Suze. All right, I know you've I been trying to get you in. You know, I'm kind of new to TikTok, so all of these things make me nervous. But oh, okay, it's fine. I want <laughs> I want to jump in here and, and and say a couple of things about Go Trump. Ahead. I was reading, so you know he he um he he go he's always touting all his great accomplishments and right. I read his in, in Time hits, magazine yeah. how he said about oh we're gonna build this beautiful embassy. And it's gonna cost two hundred thousand to three hundred thousand dollars. Yeah. Then he delivered it at four hundred thousand dollars, which was already over budget. But then, a couple months later, the, a, a company here in Maryland was contracted, and it was for twenty-one million dollars. So it was twenty million dollars over budget. Wow! And he's a great wow. businessman. Wow. <laughs> He See just how he fails can't... at everything. He fails at everything. Yeah. I'm convinced that if, if Trump had been the one to unalive the puppy, these MAGA morons would be, they would be vilifying dogs right now. They would be saying, dogs are terrible. We... <laughs> yeah, oh, and oh, isn't that just... funny? Because they'll they give Donald excuses. Trump a pass on everything, right? There's on not... everything, literally everything. Didn't that guy just say that even if he was convicted and, and in jail, he would still vote for him? And then, at, yeah, he said that, but then at the same time, they'll get on TikTok and say Biden's a criminal. Right, with you no have, evidence. Their evidence have, is a meme. That's what yeah. their evidence is. Yeah, they, they lose all, evidence. they lose their ability to condemn someone else for being a criminal the moment they say they openly support one. Right, exactly. And they, they love to say that Biden is this and that and... And he's been in government so long. Maga, why do you think he's been in government for so long? You don't think it's because people keep voting for him? Why yeah. do they keep voting for him when Trump keeps losing? Trump is well, losing. He keeps losing. That's a good point. <laughs> that's a good point. If he's been in government, that's a sign that people keep supporting Biden. People right? like him and they're going to keep supporting him because he actually produces results. He doesn't just pretend he produced results and yep. lie about the results that he produced. But he actually does something. Tell him, tell him, PA. <laughs> these, these MAGA rallies, you know, these people like they, there's so there's so much energy that has to go into that. You have to get dressed up in all your Trump gear, get your flag out, get your ugly truck out, drive over there, sit there and listen to the same thing. You know, we yeah. can just give you what the speech is going to be. It's I'm great. I'm the greatest ever. I'm a victim. They're, they're coming after me. I'm a uh, victim, you know, invasion, invasion, just throw out all the keywords. You could just sit at home. You know, you can, you can do that from home. You don't have to go out there. Just, you know, you, the, the speech is the same every single time. Poor hmm. me. 
Poor me. Tell him. Tell him. <laughs> oh my goodness. And I love that he comes out of he, he keeps saying that he doesn't get to campaign. He's campaigning every day with his little victim speech after court. He has access to everything. Well, I heard my bell, so I'm going to drop right. down, but thank you, Suze, for the amazing show and, and all the good all work right. that you do. All right, and it's been a pleasure. You've been trying to get in for a few days. I've seen you, all right? It's been a pleasure, all right? And thank you, as always, for having the thank courage you. and conviction to be able to get up here and tell the truth. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give PA a round of applause. <laughs> All right, all right. Listen, ladies and gentlemen, I am so sorry, but I do have to run. Oh, my goodness. This show is definitely, as as said, off the rails. And I do apologize if I wasn't able to get to you today. We can definitely powwow tomorrow, all right? Uh, but before we do, uh, you know what we got to do. First of all, I want to give all of the panelists uh, a round of applause, all right? You did an outstanding job this morning. Great live. I think so. It was a pretty funny live. It was a pretty good live, all right? Uh, and so to the moderators, to the subscribers, to the gifters, and again, to the panelists, thank you for helping to keep this show exciting, engaging, and entertaining. You really are the best. <laughs> Couldn't do it without you. All right, but you know what we got to do? One more round of, you guessed it, booze and shame. For the Zeus haters out there, you know who they are. These are our critics. These are our detractors. These are people like Butterbean, like Leela, like Craig, like Pure Blood Patriot, like Conservative D. Restitution, he goes by the name of Restitution, or even Clickbait. These knuckleheads, these knuckle draggers are the worst of the worst. The Russian bears. They get on TikTok or any other social media platform and they promote misinformation and disinformation on behalf of Vladimir Putin and the Kremlin. These are some of the worst of the worst, right, Valerie? And they also support Donald Trump, right? And push his evil, his bigotry, his misogyny, and his racism on a daily basis and somehow always try to portray themselves as victims. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them what they deserve. Our final round of, you guessed it, booze and shame! Oh! On that note, ladies and gentlemen, you know what to do. Take care and stay safe out there in those TikTok streets. Don't do nothing I wouldn't do. All right, love you all as well. Hey, Bama, you block yourself. I don't need to block you as far as I'm concerned. I look forward to seeing you every morning so I can crush your little dream of having Donald Trump in office. Hey, thank you, Dark Knight Kid. All right, how about that, Bama? Keep on showing up the glass, bro. I got you. I got your block, all right. It's not going to be the block you're looking for, though. All right, hey. Thank you, Cena. Thank you, Red. And good morning, man. Cold as the days of this ball, Steve. I see ya. All right. Hey, Bama, why don't you subscribe, Bama? All right. Your, this education isn't free. You really should pay for it, Bama. Show us you're actually as successful as you like to portray you are. All right. Cold as the days, DJ Kitty Cat. Hey, Joe Two Bulls. Donna, let's go. Hello, girl. Hey, Jeffrey. Let's go. Audit today. Let's go. A little up. PA. I see ya. Queen Clee. Aaron. Garvey. Jess. Thank you. It's over, Mega. It really is. Brown eyes. Thank you. Red. Yay, my man. It was a great show, and you helped to make it possible. There is all. Let's go. Poetivity. Swerve, and I know you're here somewhere, all right? Please vote, everyone. Five paragraphs. I see you. Lisa! Come on, shout out. Well, I'm living proof. I've been waiting for this moment now. I gotta choose if you play around with love. Lisa. Goats are us farms. You're welcome. Edge, DJ, work bros. All right, I see you. Michelle, Rio, Cali Love. All right, Nathan's mom, 
I see you here, but you good. CJD, I love you too. Thank you for the subscription. All right, Tinkerbell, you know I love you. Yeah, thank you. Happy, let's go. Let's yes, vote blue and support Joe Biden. Let's get him reelected, ladies and gentlemen. Maisha Lewis, I see you right there. Everything is fine. I love this. I love you too. Mystica, I love you too. All right, Maureen, love you. Dark Arthur, I see you. Hey, Tinkerbell. Yeah, here we go. Here we go, right here. I just want to buy uh, 11,780. And that'll get you a Rico. That'll get you a Rico case right there. That little perfect phone call. <laughs> Zena, I see you. All right. Reggie! Let's hit him with the Jack Smith remix! He's deranged. He's deranged. He's deranged. He's deranged. Oh, girl. He's deranged. He's deranged. He's deranged. He's deranged. He's deranged. Right, Ange? Donald Trump is indicted and they take one, One charge, charge and they turned it into 36 charges. Wow. And he's a big Trump painter. Openly, he's a Trump painter. And his wife is even more of a Trump painter. Okay, okay, okay. Let's see what we got, ladies and gentlemen, before I get up out of here. Oh, yeah, this is my... I haven't done this in a while, all right? Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Oh, my God. Let's see. What do we got? I'm looking for it. I'm looking for it. Here we go. Oh, no, no, no. I'll do it. Let's see. What do we got to end the show? Ooh, we, oh, yeah, okay, let's see, oh, yeah, 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 he's drinking, yeah, yeah, no, uh-huh, see what it is, all right, let's see, trial by combat, let's see, Rancher, you can leave, uh, fight like hell, no, nah, I don't want to do that one, let's see, what do I have here, ladies and gentlemen, I want to play one I don't normally play, uh, let's see, let's see, <laughs> Oh, here it is. Here it is. I found it. Here it is. Here it is. Let's go. They started just recently with this crap. They started just recently. They could have brought this lawsuit, Brenner, three years ago, right after I left. It's been three years. Later, Swerve. They didn't do that. And now they're saying, we have to go immediately before the Supreme Court. This thing would have all been over with two years ago. But they waited and waited and waited and then they saw I was running and they waited and then they saw I was hot and they filed lawsuits. These are very dishonest people. That's called election interference. These are very, and now they're fighting like hell because they want to try and get a guilty plea from the Supreme Court of the United States, which I can't imagine because you have presidential immunity. But strange things happen, but they want to get that because that's the only way they're going to win the election. Oh. It's a very sick thing. But think of it, they waited and waited and waited for years. In fact, nobody thought, everyone would say they're never going to bring any charges. They're never, most people said they're not going to bring them because they don't have anything. And then all of a sudden we started getting hit with these lawsuits. And, in fact, and you know, now they're saying, let's run. Don't you love it when he starts crying like that? Yeah, we waited just until you started getting hot, Donald. Oh, yeah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, I got to drop the bomb. If you have a problem figuring out whether you're for me or Trump, and you ain't black. That's right. You ain't black. You ain't nothing but a modern-day slave. I'm out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Take care and stay safe. Don't do nothing I